Hi, I'm Martin Mansi Johnson. I'm the Senior Operations Manager at the school. I'd just like to talk you through some of the practicalities, the logistics of what goes on in school as I oversee all of the non-teaching side of the uh, CHS. And I'll get to answer some of the questions that I'm always asked at open events. So come with me, I'll take you up to the main reception and I'll show you around. So this is where I'd normally stand to welcome everyone on our open events, but let me take you now through the library. So everybody needs a device. In Year 7 it's an iPad. So you buy your iPad in Year 7 and then you keep that up until Year 9, so you need to look after it. So I'd recommend getting the insurance for an iPad. Um, after year seven, eight and nine, then you can get a Chromebook. So everyone needs a device in school and you can only use that in lesson time and when you're studying. Of course, yeah, absolutely bring your mobile phone. Um, they're collected in, uh, by form tutors in the morning, so you don't keep your phone on you during the day. It's given to you at the end of the day, ready for home time. So important dates throughout the school calendar, we have an online calendar and parents, pupils can subscribe to the calendar online so it can synchronise directly to your mobile phone and then you've got different categories in there so you can choose what type of events that you want to look at. So we have a policies um, portal, so through our website and uh, just search for policies you'll find all the different types of policies, procedures, documents, guidance that you might want to find, anything from safeguarding to security to health and safety, all the different types of things that you'd expect to find. The school buses are offered independently of the school through Elite Services, so all the information about the bus routes are on their website, uh, which can be accessed from our site, or you can just give them a telephone call. Uh, well, if you go onto our website, uh, on travelling to school by the website, there is links to all of the bus routes. So we have seven bus routes and they go from Hale, Hyde, Marple, Macclesfield, all the way around Manchester. You just put your postcode into one of those uh, maps and it'll show you where your nearest stop is. If there isn't one nearest where you live, you then go through to Elite and tell them where you live. And each year we review the bus routes. So even if there isn't one there now, doesn't mean there can't be next year. Um, well, they're all on a termly basis, so you sign up for a, a term contract and you can pay monthly. Uh, so we don't offer ad hoc on the day bookings, it's all upfront up subscription. It's, it's roughly £2 per trip. So you pay for the month and it's about £86 for a month. But it varies depending if you get a late bus or how many um, routes you, you want to use the bus through out the term. Well, to go home at the end of the school day, school finishes at 3.45. So we give you about 15 minutes to get your bag, get all your gear together, get to the bus. And they leave school at about 4 o'clock. So it depends on where your bus is going to and the afternoon traffic, but it's not too long, usually about an hour or so till they are all finished. Yeah, so after school activities are quite popular, so if you go to football or other practices after school, there is a late bus that goes about quarter past five most days. So everyone gets a bus pass, and the bus pass will have a number on it. And the bus itself will have that number on the front, so when it arrives in the morning, quite clear. And then when you're going home, they're all lined up in that alphabetical order. So it's quite, hopefully quite easy to find the right one. So the behaviour is managed by the bus driver. Um, and if there is a behaviour problem, or if there's any issues on the bus, 
bus driver has a really good um, communication with us as a school and the pastoral team. Um, but anyone who does have any worries about anything that happens on the bus can anonymously report things through our internal reporting system. Well, so parents are texted if the bus is running late, so either picking up in the morning or after school, text message will go straight out to parents. And so you the, the message is given out through the school as well, so if the, the bus is not arriving in time, home time, there's always a teacher at the coach park after school until the last bus has left. If you leave something on the bus, it'll be there waiting for you next time you get on the bus. The bus company have a really good lost property procedure to reunite you with anything you've left. Train station is only about a 12 minute walk from the school, so a lot of children do get the train to school and you'll see that a lot of them walk to the train station together. There's a lollipop lady as well to help school crossings. So you can cycle to school, so we have lots of cycle facilities around school. Um, um, best times for dropping off, picking up, that sort of thing. So we, we open up at 7.30, so we've got breakfast clubs in the morning, after school clubs till six o'clock. So you want to avoid the peak times, come, come through those times. Um, I think that's all for travel. Um, do you want me to come and show you the dining room so we can talk about lunchtime and recess and things going on during the school? Good question. It is a big school, 83 acres in total. Um, it takes a while to find your way around. Um, but you find that in the first few months, everyone's in the same boat anyway. So you're all figuring it out with each other. And by the end of the first few weeks, you know what M3.2 is or where C2.7 is. Uh, yes, so the senior school has an after school club in the library. Uh, you can go there after the um, after last lesson till six o'clock. In the middle of Greenbelt land, it's something that's really important to us, um, as well as being altruistic and giving back to the community. So we have lots of recycling initiatives, a lot of green energy policies, um, and we're also working towards becoming an eco school. Uh, you can go to our finance department, you can drop them an email and they'll come and answer any questions you've got about fees and finance. So there's a breakfast service available before school and then at recess you can get some hot food in this dining room and then lunch service as well. So you can get a three course lunch service which is usually soup, hot food, or a sandwich, pasta, potato, and then a pudding. So it's had a hot pudding, lovely cakes, fruit, yogurt bars. Well, we cater for all different dietary requirements and intolerances. Um, the service is provided by Sodexo's independence team. So anyone who has an allergy or intolerance we need to know that when you first join and then the head chef and the catering team will come and show you around the dining room, talk you through where all the service options are, make sure that you know where it's referenced when there's a different allergen or a different um, ingredient that you need to look out for. Each time you walk through the dining room, the, the um, catering assistant will give you a quick reminder about what's on the menu that day and what to look out for. So all the prices uh, for the food, the lunch, um, things that you can buy at recess and breakfast, they're on our website. You build for those food products each term, uh, retrospectively. Uh, if you wanted to put a cap on any spend, we can do that as well. So you can email our finance team and talk about setting a limit for breakfast, setting a limit for recess. Vendor machine as well for the senior school. Um, which can be used after school, it's got water, it's got some healthy snacks in there. Um, it's a cash vendor machine. 
At lunchtime, all the year groups come into the dining room and they're allocated year group time so they can sit with their year group and have lunch. After lunch, then you can go outside as allocated play spaces for each year group where you can unwind, get off, let off some steam and chill out with your friends. If it's raining, there's indoor space to go to and there's also co-curricular activities on at lunchtime. So lots to get involved with. So come with me and we'll go for a little walk outside and I'll tell you a bit more about uniform and some other practicalities. Our uniform outfitter is Monkhouse. They have a shop in Cheadlehume. Uh, you can go to the shop in the precinct there or they've got an online shop where you can buy things 24-7. You can either get them deli things delivered to the shop or you can go get them delivered home. Yes, yeah, so the second-hand uniform sales run by our parents' association. Um, so they, they run them every sort of half term and they advertise the dates and details in our regular communications to parents. So every year group has its own bag rack and its own bag store and every pupil will be able to use a locker. So we hopefully don't have too much but it's unfortunately if they just get lost, we have quite a good lost property procedure to try and reunite people with their lost property. Well, a tie and a blazer, jumper and your trousers. So Monkhouse will go through what you need to buy. There's also the PE kit. So you'll be required to have um, a PE kit for Monkhouse as well. So all the information about how much that sort of thing costs, that'll be on our website as well. So you know up front what, you, what you're committing to pay when you go and buy um, your uniform from Monkhouse. So in school we've got a first day of team on site from the minute we open to the minute we close. So if there is an accident on site they go straight to the first day of team. The first day of team will treat them and then we'll phone parents to let them know what's happened. Um, if necessary they'll wait with them until you can need to collect them. Yes, there is a school nurse as well as the first day of team and pupils are also supported by a school counsellor as well as the school nurse and the state team and the pastoral team. Um, well, everyone always asks me about site security. 
So we were a really secure school, we've got through into gates um, that are open at uh, drop off pick up times, but closed during the school day. So other than that, we're a secure school, we've got really good strict visitors, procedures, everyone wears a staff lanyard, um, the estate staff are on site and at the security as well. Well, we're a COVID secure school and actually if you want to have a look at this short video, this is what I prepared at the start of the term, just to welcome everyone back and explain what we have done in school to make sure that we are COVID secure. Have a look at this clip. Nothing is more important than the safety and well-being of all members of our CHS community. What you're about to see is an extract of a film that I put together to welcome all staff and pupils back onto site at the start of this term. It simply aims to show parents, staff and pupils the changes we have made and the measures we are taking to ensure a COVID secure environment. One of the first things you'll see is that we now have new hand sanitizers on the entry to site and into every building. So please use these as often as you can but we'll also be encouraging everyone to wash their hands thoroughly more often. If you've got your own personal hand sanitizer and maybe a small pack of tissues, that would be good too. Anything you can do to be self-sufficient and to limit the use of shared items on sites will be beneficial. To minimise contact with individuals who are unwell, those who have coronavirus symptoms or have someone in their household who does, should not even come through the school gates, so please stay at home. We have new procedures to rapidly identify and send home anyone who develops symptoms, and we'll be engaging with the NHS test and trace procedures. Please be ready and willing to self-isolate if required. New cleaning regimes have been put in place, which includes cleaning frequently touched surfaces more often, we have also assembled new cleaning stations in and around school so that equipment and resources that are shared between groups can be cleaned frequently. We've spaced things out, set up one-way systems and marked up areas around school to help minimise contact between individuals and maintain social distancing wherever possible. We recognise that this can be difficult and so where social distancing is not easily achieved, we'll support everyone with other protective measures including wearing face coverings when moving around sites. We've also altered some of our schedules and routines to minimise contact between groups and have new parent and visitor protocols in place. Please pay extra attention to new instructions, signage and posters and be patient with everyone as we all adapt to the new systems. Whilst it's not possible to ensure a totally risk-free environment, the system of controls at CHS will effectively manage the risks of coronavirus and allow us to safely welcome everyone back. We're looking forward to seeing you all soon.